So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a clock widget like this into Notion. So as you can see here, I've got two different examples of two different clocks that you can embed right into Notion. The first one is this flip style clock and the second is this more traditional style clock. Um, these are really customizable, so you can really play around with the colors of these. You can make these any color that you like. So let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to show you how to create is this flip clock widget. And then afterwards, I'll show you how to create this more analog style clock. So the first thing you need to do is head over to this website, Widget Box. Once you're on this website, you will just need to sign up. So if you just click on this button, create one now. So you can create a login or you can sign up with your Google account. I'm just going to use the Google account option because it's really quick. So once you're signed up, you want to look for the digital retro clock and click on this create button. So it will bring up the default clock, which looks like this. So as I said, this clock is really customizable, so you can play around with the colors over here. So you can change the background color and the text color. So in the example that I had, we had the background set to a gray color like this, and the text color was set to a darker or gray, almost black. So as you can see, you can really play around with the colors to suit your own style. They have tons of really amazing options. Here's another example. So I think I'm just going to go with a light gray background and I think I'll keep this purple color. So this is the color option that I'm going to go with. So next you can change the rounding of the edges. So if I click on none, as you can see, the corners here are square. But if I click on large, it makes it really rounded. So you can pick between these different options to find the style that suits you best. I think I'm going to go with medium. Down here we can then change between either a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock. So it really depends on the type of style that you prefer. I think I'm going to stick with the 12 hour clock. So once you're happy with the widget, you want to click on this copy button below and it will copy the URL to your clipboard. Okay, we're now just going to head back over to Notion and you want to type in forward slash embed and look for this embed block. We then want to paste in the link that we've just copied and click on embed link. Okay, so if you just wait a few seconds, it will then bring up your clock. You can then play around with the sizing by pulling in these bars. So I'm just going to make it more central and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller as well. So that's the flip clock. So this will automatically update every minute. So next I'm going to show you how you can embed this analog style clock. So for this clock, you'll need to head over to this website, indify.co. You do just need to sign up so you can enter your email address here or you can sign up with your Google account, which is the option I'm going to go with. So once you're signed up, you want to just scroll down and under volume two, you'll see this clock widget. So you just want to hover over and click on this button, create widget. Next, you just need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine clock, click continue. So this will bring up the default widget, which looks like this. You can amend a lot of things on this widget. So the first thing is the clock type. There are various different options. So this one is the analog smooth, but there are a few different options. So we've got, for example, analog numbers where it's got the numbers on the end. There's the planets option, which looks like this. The trail option. You also have a couple of digital options. So the digital solid is just quite a standard, just digital clock. There's also the roulette version, which looks like this. I personally think the analog smooth is one of the nicer looking ones. Some of the other ones look a bit confusing. So this is the option I'm going to go with. So next we can change the time zone here. So it should automatically detect your local time zone, but if for some reason it's not picked it up correctly, you can click on here and select the appropriate time zone. You can toggle this button on if you prefer a 24 hour clock like this, or you can keep it off if you want the 12 hour version. You can also toggle this off if you don't want these time indicator lines to show. So it would look like this, but I'm gonna keep that on. Okay, for scroll down next, we have a few different style options. So as you can see, this currently includes the seconds on here. So if you don't want it to show the seconds, you can toggle this off and it will just show the hour and the minute. You can also toggle off the seconds dial. So as you can see, this is the seconds dial going around. So if you prefer not to have that, you can switch that off. Here you can amend the padding. So if I just put the padding up to max to show you what it looks like, as you can see, it just makes the clock a lot smaller and applies this padding effect around it. I think I'm going to keep that quite minimal. Okay, next we can set a background color. So if you toggle this on, you can select a color for the background. So I think I'm going to go with something like gray. You can also change the color of the clock itself. So it's currently set to black, but just as an example, I could change it to purple and it would look something like this. So you can really play around this and make it match your own style. I'm just going to keep it as a dark gray color. 
So the last option is this hover menu. So if you leave this toggled on, when you have this widget inside your Notion space, if you hover over it, it will essentially just show a little menu that you can customize the widget. So I'm gonna leave that on. Okay, and once you're happy with the widget, you just wanna click on this little clipboard icon here, and that will copy the link to your clipboard. Okay, so I'm just gonna head back over to Notion and I'm just gonna do forward slash embed and click on this embed block. I'm gonna paste in the link that we just copied and click embed link. And that will then bring up our analog style clock. So again, you can play around with the size of this using these bars here until you're happy with the size. And that's it, that's how you can add clocks into Notion. So if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on my Etsy store. The link will be in the description box below.